So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here and welcome to The Inner Friend. So this is a game made by Playmind and they were able to give me an early copy to experience on the channel for you guys. And I guess judging from the fact that you guys are now seeing this on screen, that's exactly what we're about to do. This is a game I've seen floating around for some time and I have been very intrigued to check it out myself. Because it seems to be like a crossover between Little Nightmare style games. The concept loosely follows around, you're some kind of like teenager I think, but you gotta go back in time as your childhood self, aka your inner friend. You gotta go ahead and punch those nightmares and I guess come out on top. I guess the only thing I can say is if you guys like what you see from this one and maybe want to see me do like a full playthrough or just another part on this when the full game comes out, just leave a like rating down below. But let's get straight into this. Here we go. What the f- uh, Wait, what have I just signed myself up to? Hold up a sec. WASD to move. All right, that's the camera by the looks of things. The heck is going on behind? Whoa, bro, don't man spread. <laughs> what the freak? We're seeing like the cheeks and all. Are you good? What the freak? He's in pain. I mean, look, bro, I don't understand why your face is like a light source, to be honest. Yeah, I don't think he does either. Oh, man, that looks kind of graphic, you know? Oh, yeah, look at that close up. Oh, my God. Look at his face. Look at him twitching like that as well. Wow. Dang. Whoa. And it takes us straight into the game? What? So this is like the inner childhood self of us, I think? I don't even know what it's trying to say. We've got networks of some kind going on. Wow. I don't know what to say right now. It's kind of euphoric, but at the same time, kind of bad. It's like we're plunging deep, maybe into our brain. Maybe that's what it's trying to say. All these things like firing off at the same time, those fears, who knows? And we land just like that. Wow, okay. We're kind of busted up, looking a bit cracked, if I do say so myself. And we got a bed right here, looking like a bin for all of his clothes as well. All right, a standardized bedroom. I'll be extremely barren right now. And this kid looks extremely disappointed too. What is this? Is this trying to show us maybe what's going on, like falling into our memories and these are all of them? I don't know right now. I guess we're going to turn back and go through the only thing we can, which is this huge old crack in the wall. Whoa. All right. Look, I'm going to go through. Dang. This is super strange. Like I said, guys, very, very kind of creative with the way this game's doing things. I look like Inside and Little Nightmares, which is why I wanted to check this one out. We're picking up steam. Let's go. Woo. We made it through. We're tumbling again. Here comes the... What the freak? All right, kid, I don't know how to explain this. This is insane. You know, I'm getting like Stranger Things vibes as well from this. So wait, can we just keep falling continuously? It's like all of these different levels are building something, you know? Uh, I can just keep falling if I want, like straight through to the very bottom, I guess. But I don't want to do that. Wow. I can't. It just keeps forming more and more levels. So we're going to have to land in one of these, I guess. This one right here looks like a good spot to land. We'll go straight in that little crevice right there. I right, inbound, kid, okay? Praise for impact, okay? This might hurt a bit. Ah. And we're good. So could we landed in any one of these and got like a different experience? I have no idea. Jump down one more level. Some strange noises happening. I don't know so much. Aurora glowing from this thing. So I guess, look, we're going to plunge through Mario 64 style with that too. Whoa. Here comes the horror elements. It's like a horror action, I think they said it was. That's completely barricaded off, so we're not going that way. So childhood horrors, you say? We're back in school, I mean, <laughs> this is a horror right now. Definitely a relatable problem to a kid, I guess. Uh, but what happened exactly within the school? That's gonna be the new question that I suppose we're gonna try and figure out. Hello? Hey, there's a kid back there. He's kind of like caged up, so is that like a- Oh! The heck? Can we talk to him? We're just gonna stare? We're just gonna stare. Wow, this does not look good. I don't even know what happened here, but the place looks like a complete wreck. Can we open any of the door? No, but we can scratch the back of our skull. How about this door here? It's open. There's some kids in there. Whoa, wait, what happened? You see they were like running away, carrying or something? There's some kind of portal toward the center as well. Oh yeah, so guys, quick opinion. Should I jump down there or not? Okay then. You know what, let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna fall down here. Oh, one more layer down. We've got some changes to the rooms and I think that may be about it. Not go through the exit. Now that was my initial thought process, so okay, cancel that one off the list. So what's going on inside here, huh? There's another one of the kids with the reddish linkage toward him. What? Okay, there's multiple. What the freak is this? They're passing like a signal through the televisions. And I think this is the puzzle element toward it. We interact with the kid. Let's try this. We just scratched the back of our head, so we can't do that. However, maybe we could push this in the way. Let's go ahead. Wow, nice job, kid. Still, I'm no closer to figuring out like what's going on this game, you know, what the memory is. However, though, guys, that's kind of the beauty to these sorts of games. You figure it out by looking at, like, the uh, visual representations and really just go from there. <laughs> the f it's the thing again! Is it like a teacher? Like, is that a childhood memory right here, which is a bad one? Go through the classroom here. Wow. 
What is this place now? Like a library? Can we help the kid? Nope, we can scratch the back of our head right in front of him, though. That's pretty disrespectful. There's not much more we can do really here. Stack of books leading up to another crack within the ceiling. Now we're going to chemistry by the looks of things. Who the freak left a lit flame when no one's around? Like, come on right now. What is this? That is completely barricaded off. Ah. That's going straight into that kid as well there. And I don't think there's really anything we can do to save him. Let's take a peek. Unless we can maybe get in that classroom there somehow. Got a globe right there. I'll take that thing. Hey, let's go. Is that like a memory then or something? It was good, whatever way. So thank goodness I touched it. But anyway, into the classroom. It's a very barren at the moment. We have some light source coming from the back. This will probably allow us then, I'm guessing, to drop down. Or not. And the door... The freak... I've just been locked in here and the room has just blacked out. Something else is here. Okay, this is... Whoa! Whoa! The freak is going on. This is creepy as heck, but I'm liking it. Are we good? I don't even know what just happened. And the door opens up just like that. The antagonist up your game. That was pointless. We can drop down now into the room that we wanted to before. A couple of linkages linking up to that kid right there and also outside. Go ahead and sideswipe that thing right there. And then if we go ahead and hit this thing just across there. Just like so. You're welcome. So I think regardless, um, yeah, he's dead. Still going along though with this mystery. Game looking cool though, right? Now there's something going on. Ooh. Something from the locker. Was that maybe ours at some point? It doesn't affect us though. We can just move straight past it. Is that what this what the heck is going on? Wow. I'm clueless right now. I truly am. We're gonna get out of here, you know. This is not good. What the heck is that? Is that a teacher right there? My goodness me. Okay, so those kids are trapped up in detention by my guess. Let's figure this thing out then. So this is the puzzle elements right now. That being right there is casting, I guess, whatever's happening here to all these kids. Now we gotta free them all. Okay, hold up. If I was to hit this thing, over to the other side. Let's go. It's the heck? I think I may have angered it just a little bit. Hmm. Hold up. Can I jump on the desk? You know, I can jump over that. Just... The freak, that still hurt my feet, I think. And it was enough to kill me. So for some of this stuff, it is a one-take chance, right? Hit that thing that yes. way. First one done. You are very welcome. And we have all sorts of books that we can block the different paths with once again. You swap that thing that way. There's the second one free. What the freak? Look at that! It literally looks like something out of Stranger Things right now, you know? Now we have to figure this out in such a way where we're still gonna have access to the books because we can't jump over these like red lines which are appearing. In fact, hold up. I got a complete change of plan here. We got two lots of these books. Let's allow them to work together, you know? I hit that one that way there. Then I can actually hit this one sideways and you see I've got a lot more space to move that way. See, now I can cross that one over there, risk-free. And one final hit there. That blocks off both of those. Now this is even better. We've got so much free movement at the back right now. Okay, hang on a sec. If I was to hit this that way, there's a third book right here. Then I use this one to block it. And that is our solution. Now we've got two lots of books to play with, completely free. We've got it. Swap this one just over there. Then we're gonna replace that one with this little stack here and we should be all good. There you go. Everyone is free. All right. I think this is our memory as well. Something? This is definitely from childhood. What are we seeing happen right now? You know? So that's the mad teacher. I think they've almost given up. So we're rebelling against the teacher. Look, no more math, all right? We're going to take the book. Just on the table. There's someone crying. Now, if that's Alice, that's got to be a memory flashback right there, okay? 64 and up, out he goes. Okay, I guess we do the same thing. Look, we're going to go ahead, hop on out. We're done. We're done here. Oh, look at this. So we're back. Is that us right there? Bro, looking like me when I was 15. Let's at least check out what this next one has to offer, you know? I'm kind of curious right now. This is really interesting. We're going for a tumble once again, guys. All these things forming. You know what? Let's try and land it in the first one that we see. <laughs> All right, in we go. Let's see then exactly what this next one's all about. The freak is this like a museum this time? What kind of memory is this gonna be? Can we go up to the glass? We can't do nothing with it. So this second one here places us in some kind of museum. Um, not really sure what it's trying to say. Very, very abstract, but it seems like mostly, again, it's childhood memories all around here. And there's our man with the gaping hole straight in the middle of his face. What are these things here? Different pictures. Uh, that looks like a dino or something. Over this side here. Yep, creepiest looking forest I've ever seen. I'm out. Yeah, I ain't even gonna ask how they made this thing, you know? Impressive, though. The freak is this? I can't hear what they're saying. That is so mumbled. Uh-oh. Wait, did we get trapped in a museum overnight? Is that the phobia right now? That would be kind of freaky, you know? The place is so clean, and you're here all alone. What do we have this way here? The heck is that? That don't sound good. I'm not liking the sound of that. So this is going to be like a maneuvering section, I believe. All right, made it here. So we are moving from place to place. All right. 
Okay, and move. This reminds me so much of Inside right now. You guys remember that game? You get a pace on, get a pace on. Just a... That was close. Okay, move again, and we're all good. Next area coming up. The heck is this? I have no idea what it's trying to say. I feel like we've been here before. Looks... That's us. We must have been. Wait, did this just change behind us? Seen the uh, big exit sign right there? It did. Now it's completely changed up. A different way of playing this? I gotta be careful with that. I don't know what I was... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Multiple? Okay, here's the plan, guys. Stand here. Okay, then we're gonna move quickly to this one. Yep, and then I'm gonna go straight behind that there. Let's go, let's go. Uh, I think I've kind of gone the wrong way, though. I can move along the light. And I bounce here. Oh, I think I've done it. Okay, nice and quick. Look, uh, yeah. I, I don't know what I was thinking. Patience this time, okay? Should get caught a little bit. Woo! Just enough time to get through, though. And again, we've got something else changed up. So there's one light source just there. They move. Okay, how the heck am I gonna do this one? So some lift up and then some nope. lift down. So then move over here straight away. I see how this one's gonna be. Bruh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I can't make this one. What the heck? Right now, I think we go straight for the middle right here. There you go. That's it. Bro, you rebel. Okay, no wonder this is a nightmare. Unless, wait, what the freak? There's a teddy in the middle of that thing? Look, I want my teddy. You shouldn't have built a structure with that in the middle, okay? Whoever the artist is, your problem, not mine. And out we go one last time. That was pretty good though, huh? And then we're back in the room. The heck, the guy is like slumped over. He's still so distressed. Are we actually helping him yet? I don't know so much what the heck. Restoring some color to the room. That's the thing right there that the kid was painting. So why did we have to restore that? I'm really not sure. Unless he was some kind of artist, because you can see he's built like a plane out of a tin can. All right then, guys. Well, we're going to leave this one here. That was the inner friend. A very interesting experience. So I don't really know what I expected going into this, but uh, it was a little bit different. So it seems like there's multiple layers of these puzzle type things. So it is kind of similar to Inside, where you got to figure it out based on what you see. The puzzles for this game, they were pretty fun. And honestly, I had a pretty good time playing this one. The developers just handed me a code for this game and just said, check it out if you want. And I guess I did. So I figured I'd plug this anyway, guys. The full game comes out September 6th. So if you are interested and like what you see, I mean, you can check it out if you want. Either way though, guys, for this video, I am going to leave it here and I hope you did enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I of course hope you did enjoy and I will of course see you on the next one.